Hi guys, wait, I want you guys to like be tilted a little bit more. So maybe put you like that. Or do I put you right here? No, I think I'm gonna put you right there. Because you can't even see that I'm wearing a top, it looks like I'm a nudist. Let's do our makeup today because we're gonna get ready and we're gonna take some Instagram pictures. I'm very white right now and I thought I was gonna be tan. I extended my stay. I'm in California right now and I extended my stay. I was supposed to leave yesterday. I leave now tomorrow night. So we have today left. I tried to film a get ready with me like a couple days ago, but I think like music was going on. I mean, I may have that like in a vlog, but I want this to be like completely separate. Let's get ready to take Instagram pictures. I posted a video, if you guys saw my skincare video, like how to get like model glass skin. I was getting ready for Instagram pictures in there and I kind of showed the makeup, but I didn't really do like a rundown of like, oh, I'm using this, 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 and this. So today we're gonna kind of do that. I'm gonna tell you guys like what products I'm using, all of that stuff, all that jazz. I'm sorry if you can hear cars going by. There's kind of like a road, obviously. <laughs> and then the air conditioning's on right now. Eventually it will turn off. But basically what I was saying is like, a lot of people in the other video had questions about my makeup, all that stuff. They're like, well, how do you do your makeup? Whenever I take Instagram pictures or if I'm gonna take multiple, I typically try and do like a natural-ish makeup that will look good with multiple different outfits, if that makes sense. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I have some new blush things and just like some new powders and all that stuff. Let's get started. Okay, so we're doing the eyebrows at first. I already put on some serum like on my skin and some eye cream like two hours ago when I took a shower. My hair is literally still wet though. Okay, I'm gonna be using Benefit Brow Pomade. You guys know for the longest time I was using Anastasia Beverly Hills. But I recently switched over to this only because my other one, I mean, I, I still use my Anastasia Beverly Hills one. This one's just newer, if that makes sense. But I got it with the little eyebrow brush that it comes with. This eyebrow brush by Benefit is impeccable. It is so incredible. I always get questions about my eyebrows. And I have the most simplest routine ever. Um, I basically use this and then sometimes I'll use like a pencil for like the front if I need to. The thing is, is that like I have two differently shaped eyebrows and my eyebrows grow two different ways. And so unfortunately my eyebrows are always neighbors. My eyebrows are always neighbors. So I basically just brush them up and I'm gonna follow my natural eyebrow. I think I've done like an eyebrow tutorial before but also I always cut this part out because I feel like it's just boring. So I literally just, my entire eyebrow. You see how I just completely lined underneath of it? And already it's just already looking better. It's already giving my girl shape. And now this eyebrow, the fucking hair doesn't like to grow up here. So I kind of have to like extend my arch. I have like a freckle on my eyebrow. And so it like, the freckle stops the hair from going there. I don't understand. It looks like this. And I drag the line to about like halfway right there. And then I fill in. I pick up some more product and then I just fill in. I always start at the back. Fill, 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 fill. They dark. The brows are back on. Like, why do they look like Sharpie brows? I'm scared. Am I just like blind, guys? I promise. My eyebrows are not like Sharpies, I promise. But right now they're giving Sharpie vibes and I'm scared. Okay, so now we gotta go in and clean these up. I feel like that's what makes the eyebrows so good. There are so many people where I see their eyebrows and like their eyebrows are so good and I'm like, damn it. You know, but here's the thing, not everyone likes cleaning up their eyebrows. The one thing that's really, really good about makeup is that you can do whatever the fuck you wanna do. You don't have to do what somebody else is doing. So if you don't like what I'm doing, don't do it, you know? Okay, so I'm using the Tarte Creamy, Ultra Creamy. I like love this concealer, but like, does it leak for anyone else? Like, why the fuck does it leak? I waste so much product, like sometimes like so much will be leaking out that like I'll try and stick it back in the bottle. I love it, but like, oh, right there, I jinxed it. It leaks out the side. Uh, and it's so annoying because this concealer is so good and like obviously I use it and I'm still gonna fucking use it, but like it just gets everywhere. Okay, the air conditioning just turned back on and I'm so scared that you can hear it so strongly, can you? If you can, my apologies. I literally cannot control it. I can't, it just pops on. I mean, I could turn it off and then I would probably like pass out and like not be able to make this video because I would die of a heat stroke. I have to like go through my entire makeup bag of brushes and try and find the brush that I'm looking for. Does anyone else hate living out of a suitcase? I hate it. Like I love traveling cause I like to be like in new places, but like the whole living out of a suitcase, like not having my vanity type thing, it's just not the fucking vibe for me at all. It's just not for the vibe. I usually don't use this brush, but I brought the wrong one. So just any little like angle brush. Oh no. And I always do this thing where I accidentally go on the eyebrow and then I always just make sure that the line is even. And then I just take the concealer, blend it down so it's not like a lot of concealer up there and lightly just kind of like blend out the line. And there you have it. 
To me, this brow just looks significantly better than this brow. Guys, right, so I'm pausing the video to talk about today's sponsor. Thank you, AliExpress, for sponsoring today's video. If you guys don't know what AliExpress is, it's basically an online website that has anything and everything that you can think of. Literally anything that you can think of that you want, it's on this website. I've been an avid AliExpress user for the last 10 years of my life. Literally started ordering an AliExpress when I was 14. I'm in my 20s now. They have clothes, they have shoes, they have jewelry, lights, they have camera equipment. Literally the tripod that I use to take my selfies that you guys are seeing in the video, like you guys know how like in the video we're getting ready for Instagram pictures and I'm taking Instagram pictures. Yeah, the little tiny tripod that I use for my selfies. If you guys have been following along, then you guys know that I'm going to Hawaii soon. I'm super excited. This is a vacation that has been planned for months. I'm going to be vlogging a lot the entire trip, so I'm bringing this with me. And then also, it's just going to be easy to, like, take little, like, pictures and, like, selfies. And, like, I like to film little, like, mukbangs while I'm at restaurants. So I'm bringing this along. And people are going to look at me like crazy, but I don't even care. AliExpress is having a sale. New users can choose any three items for 99 cents, plus they get free shipping. You guys, it is a, it is great. You guys are going to go on this website, and you guys are going to see the mind-blowing deals, all this stuff. It's so easy. I got some things, and I'm going to show you guys what I got this go around. The video that you guys were watching, um, I was wearing little pearl earrings. Those are from AliExpress. These earrings that I'm currently wearing right now, they are from AliExpress. You guys do know that I'm going on vacation, so I wanted to get um, a bunch of jewelry. So I think there was like seven different earrings that I wanted for my vacation, and when I individually looked them up on like every little website that I wanted, it was going to cost over a hundred and something dollars for me to get all the jewelry and all the earrings that I wanted. I literally got this three pack. This was going to cost me over a hundred and twenty dollars on a different website. So you guys know the whole cross necklace trend. Everyone and their mother has a cross necklace, but me. Well, there was this cross necklace that I really wanted online that I saw on Pinterest, and it was like eighty dollars or something like that. I don't know, which I could buy. You know, I could buy but do I want to pay $80 right now no I do not so I found one that's very very similar on AliExpress and you guys are gonna die because this is so cute and it was like $2 I would very much be wearing it today but I'm currently wearing gold jewelry and this is silver you guys like look at this cross it's just a silver little cross and it has like some pearls and it's so freaking cute I literally cannot wait to take a picture on this look at how adorable this is I'm gonna have a link to this as well as the earrings and all that stuff because I know you guys are definitely be interested so I'm gonna have a link in the description box down below for all of you guys for that and then the last thing that I got is I just wanted like a new like jewelry holder because obviously I have all these earrings and then like when I go on vacation and all that stuff like I typically like lay my jewelry out on the counter so I bought this tray from AliExpress and I'm super excited it's just like this little like velvet nice tray go check out the website download the app you guys are not missing anything you guys are not you guys know me and you guys know that I'm obsessed with my online shopping this has been one of my obsessions for years AliExpress's 828 big promotion is coming up it's basically basically 50% off of all and the promotion time is August 21st to August 26th so during that time the sale will be going on you guys you guys can grab these you guys can grab other things there's so many things I'm gonna have a link in the description box down below to the tripod the jewelry all the things that I got if you guys are curious want to check it out I definitely recommend you guys are not losing anything you guys are gonna find a lot of good goodies actually okay so next we gotta go into the next step which is what are we gonna do let's do some eyes I only brought two eyeshadow palettes with me so I brought this. This is just kind of like what the palette looks like. I'm obsessed with this palette. And then I also brought this Morphe one along. They unfortunately do not make this palette anymore, but I think I'm mainly gonna go in with this one right here. I'm gonna start with this very, very light brown. Just take literally any light brown eyeshadow. There are so many colors like this in multiple palettes. So just take whatever one you have. I always start my eyeshadow as I go in with a color like that. It doesn't matter if I do colors or whatever, like, I always start with a l nice light brown shade just in the crease because that makes everything just blend a lot easier, more seamlessly. Okay, so now that I got the base down, the little light brown, then I kind of like to start mixing shades like this. I just go up the scale. So whatever is like the next darkest shade in the combo of shades, that's what we go in with. So I'm just going to go in with this little like fluffy brush and I'm just going to mix these two right here just back and forth and then just slowly start adding it to the crease like the outer part and then blending it in like slightly and that first brown that we applied literally is just making the eyeshadow blend a lot more easier and i just do the exact same thing on the other side do you guys see mochi he's so freaking adorable i want to steal him Unfortunately, he's not my dog. He's my friend Mario's dog. Fun fact about him, he was supposed to be a golden doodle. They paid golden doodle prices and got a chihuahua. <laughs> it's honestly the funniest thing ever, but he's so gorgeous that like, I feel like he was just, he's worth it. I'm going with this more like definer. Where's the definer brush? Because I don't fuck around with my definer brush, bitch. Okay, where the fuck is my definer brush? Oh, I think it's in here. It's just kind of like a more of like a tapered brush. This is again the same brand as like that fluffy brush. And then we're gonna go smack right there. We kind of just make like the outer part darker. I literally just like apply it on the outer parts. 
and then just ever so slightly blend it in. I try to never bring it up in this area. Like it needs, the darkness needs to stay on the outside. Like do you just see how much more definition it gives that eye versus this eye? Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's called Spa Wafers. Just like a brightish whitish shade. And I like to just add that in the front. Do you see how it just kind of like awakens-ish the eye? I already have pretty white eyelids, so. This just kind of like helps like emphasize the white on there, I guess if that makes sense. And then I tap, tap, tap to kind of like blend the edges together with like, I put a little too much white on this side alone. And then I've been really into this shade right here is one of the prettiest, where is it? This one. It's like a gold, but like a gold glitter. I don't know how to explain it when I say just this eyeshadow looks like it would be very expensive or it kind of looks like the Urban Decay ones that everyone's obsessed with, if that makes sense. But it's just like really pretty and I put it in the middle of like the white and the brown. Do you see that gold? And then I just kind of blend it, tap it, blend it out. But it's like so, I don't even know if you guys can like, I don't even know if the camera's doing it justice. I really don't think the camera's doing it justice. Like in person, you have to. Now we are going to do my least favorite part, but my also favorite part. Does anyone else have a love-hate relationship with fake eyelashes? I love fake eyelashes. I will be a fake eyelash girl till I die, okay? And I'm very particular about my fake eyelashes. I said in my last video, I will not just wear any other fake eyelashes, okay? There's certain styles that I like and they have to feel a certain way because my eyes are sensitive and I get really like, I don't know. Anyways, so we're gonna apply this mascara. I have no lash curler. When I apply this, it's gonna look like I have absolutely nothing on because my eyelashes are gonna stick down straight. But I actually really, really like this mascara. I used it the other... What is that? I don't know what the hell it is. But I literally used this mascara the other day with my eyelashes curled and it made my lashes actually look like I have lashes. Here's the thing, it's not that I don't have lashes, I just have very, very straight, downward shot lashes. I remember about two seconds ago, I was like, I'm really particular with lashes. Well, I decided to be crazy and try lashes that I've never tried before. You know, just to give another brand a chance, just to give someone a chance. I don't really know how I feel about them. So I think I'm gonna have to rip them off and apply the ones that I actually like. I'm gonna continue my makeup. We're gonna continue the routine, but I think at the very very end I'm ripping off these lashes and putting on the ones that I actually like because I just don't really know if this is my vibe. I don't know. I'm going with the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Rich Face Base. Guys, if anyone knows how to get on the Bobbi Brown PR list, literally please let me know. <laughs> this little moisturizer primer is so expensive. It works. It is, I say this, like I've said this multiple times in a video. I used to be a person where I would be like, how can anyone spend that much money on a product? And then I got, I spent the money on the product and then I used the product. I get it. I get the hype. It makes sense why everyone uses this. It makes sense why a lot of makeup artists use this. Like, I get it. Because I don't know what the hell it does to my face, but it preps my like skin like crazily. It's really freaking good, but it's on Sephora and you guys can get the small size. I have the big version. I have the one that I think is $60 a jar, but they have a small one on Sephora for $24 so you guys can try it. I recommend trying it out. Here's the thing about Sephora, you guys, is that you can try a product and if you don't like it, you can return it. So literally try it out. It's so good and I feel like it's going to be like a staple in your routine. When I became obsessed with it, I was like, for the sake of my bank account, it's not okay. But the good thing is that like during Christmas time and holiday time, how I tried mine is I got it a two pack. They were selling a two pack for $90, but it was on sale, a two pack for $70. So I literally got two of these, which retail at like $60 a piece, $120 total for $70. So like it was such a steal. So like keep your eye out in like the winter time because they have like crazy deals and sales. I'm not even kidding you. Like I got so much makeup during like the sales and the deals that they were having like during like November and December time because they do some crazy ass ones. Okay. You do not have this in your makeup routine, get it? This is the Elf Halo Glow Liquid Filter. You've probably heard of it, but if you've not heard this, I use the shade two. I need to get the shade one for when I'm pale. This is actually my tan shade that I usually use. But the other day I literally went to the um, beach and I just had this on my skin and my skin looked so freaking good. Like it looked like I was wearing makeup when I was literally not. Yeah, I'm addicted to this stuff. It's really freaking good. It's the dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury one. I've never tried the Charlotte Tilbury one, so I couldn't even tell you if that one was good. Because I like this one so much, I don't think I will ever get the Charlotte Tilbury one unless somebody either buys it for me or I get it in part PR. Does that make sense? Just because like that is so good and like $14 versus what is it like 50 or something? It just gives you like a glow from within. I love it so much. I wanna get the lighter shade. A lot of people actually, I feel like a lot of people get like the darker shades and use it as um, bronzer. I have not tried that, but I kind of want to because I don't know, this just gives such like a flawless like look to the skin. A lot of people will use this as just foundation. For me personally, I think it's a little too like shiny as like just foundation. I don't know, I like like a more like 
matte-ish type look. I think I'm gonna apply it down my neck too because my neck is looking a little white and I wanna tan that up because I'm embarrassed with how white my freaking neck is. NARS. I'm obsessed with this natural radiant long wear foundation. This foundation is expensive, but it lasts literally so long like it's worth the price and it's so freaking good. If you're pale like me, a pale girly, this is the only pale foundation that I've ever found in my entire life. I searched high and motherfucking low over the goddamn mountains, okay? This bitch right here, NARS. Babe, please put me on your PR list. They sent me some concealer, so I'm forever grateful. NARS literally sent me this concealer, like thank you. I paid for this with my own money. I paid with their cream bronzer for my own money, but they did send this to me. Please, like I just like, I don't know, like I wanna try all the other products, they're so good. So I just do about like two-ish pumps. It's so holy grail status. It's so freaking good. And let me tell you when I say like, I used to literally not do makeup when I was pale. Like if I was pale, I would not put on makeup because I hated the way that I looked with pale foundation. Every pale foundation I have ever tried in my entire life flakes off of my skin and makes me chalky looking. Like it does not blend seamlessly. Like it doesn't look like skin. It looks like I'm piling a bunch of makeup on top of my face and it makes me just look flaky. Like flaky it's disgusting when i found this on it was life-changing one i really got it because i like found it and i was like damn this is like a perfect fucking shade match like i've never seen a pale foundation match me the way that this one does i have the shade mont blanc if you guys are curious i wish people would say shades more often you know what irritates me is when i watch like a video or like okay like i have like brands that'll hit me up and be like oh like we want to send you foundations i don't know what my shade is you know and they're like pick your shade i'll go on tiktok and i'm like Let's pretend I was trying to find my shade for this. I would be like NARS Natural Radiant Long Wear Foundation Mont Blanc and see what comes up and then see like what people's skin look like, you know? But the problem with that is, is that I'd be seeing these and they'd be like doing reviews and I'm like, damn girl, I'm your shade. And then like, they don't even tell the shade. And then I look in the comments and they done post the video five months ago and they still don't reply to the comments. I'm like, girl, let me know down below because I get it, okay? Like it pisses me off. <laughs> it really does. Like when I watch somebody and they didn't tell me the shade, like why? I think this is gonna be my wedding foundation because it makes my skin look so skin-like and beautiful and gorgeous and it's still like high coverage. You guys watched my, what I got for Christmas. I got this bronzer and I've been obsessed with it ever since. I, when I tell you I use it every single time that I do my makeup, I use it every single time that I do my makeup. I'm waiting for the day that I like hit pan and this is a Laguna 2, the original one. They have a bunch of different shades. What is that? Like I still, that, that goes off every time and I don't know what it is. So I'm just using this little like angled contour. I love this stuff because I'm pale, right? And it looks really, really good when I'm pale, but also when I'm like tan and beautiful and bronzed and gorgeous. This also works. This is a universal shade. It looks good on pale and it looks good on tan. So I'm obsessed with it. I do switch off. Sometimes I'll use like this Made by Mitchell one that I have because I really, really like how those blend into my skin seamlessly. It's just like sticking into my eye and hurting me. I definitely have to take these lashes off because they're not the vibe. The only problem is, is that like I've been wearing my other lashes so much. And when I tell you I wear lashes, I will literally wear the same, like the lashes I've been wearing, I've worn the same pair like 60 times. Gorgeous, okay. Oh, this is where I'm excited. You guys, I found a new blush that I'm obsessed with and I've literally been using it nonstop ever since I freaking got it. Okay, so Urban Decay came out with these Hydro Manic Maniac Blush Glow Hydrators. They're actually so like affordable. They're like 20 bucks. I thought that these were gonna be like 30 or 35 because you know like how people will be pricing their blushes, you know? But anyways, yeah, these are like 20 bucks. I think it's like $22 or something like that. I'm not really sure. But um, I did a video on my TikTok where like I swatched a bunch of them and like I tried them out. And this is one that I tried out called Wrecked. I'm obsessed with this shade. Dude, if you feel like you cannot blend cream blush or you're scared of cream blush, this like feels like water on the skin and it blends seamlessly. I wish this was an app. But yeah, you just like pour it out onto your cheeks. I'm using the shade Wrecked. I have all of them. I did swatch them in my TikTok, so um, go watch that. Or I'll have it like maybe like on the screen or like linked right here. But it's just so like the prettiest like pink natural shade and I'm like literally addicted to it. And it blends so nicely into the skin. Obviously I put kind of like a lot on my cheek, but do you just see how it like seamlessly blends? It's just like the prettiest like, just to like put this blush on in like the summertime and like nothing else. Even just like the Elf Halo Glow and then this blush girl, like. So now we need to go out into the car bin. So I feel like the one way to look like very much snatched on Instagram, and I always like to do this little like trick because it just, girl. I like to take my NARS concealer. This is in the shade Vanilla. And I like to carve out underneath just to like, I don't know, make the contour sharp. I want that high cheekbone, look like they're contoured AF look, and this just kind of like really helps seal the deal, and this concealer is so, 
incredible. I used this concealer in high school. So that's why like a full circle moment, like, I mean, I never had this concealer. My best friend in high school had it and I would use it all the freaking time. So the fact that they sent this to me and I used it in high school, girl, I've always been a NARS fan. So NARS, but yeah, so I just go like that and then I just go like this. Do you see? Like I look snatched, like I look like snatched like makeup artist makeup, yeah. Now we have to go under with under eye concealer. So I kind of like switch. I use the NARS one underneath my eyes, but my favorite one honestly like is the Ultra Creamy by Tarte. I don't know, it just blends like so well. So we're gonna put this on. I actually really hate wearing concealer underneath my eyes because I have an eye wrinkle underneath my eye and like it always fucking seeps into my eye wrinkle. Um, basically whenever my childhood dog died, it traumatized me so badly that I cried for like two months straight and like I never had this wrinkle. There was never a fucking wrinkle. A little trick to not get greased because my eyes are not fucking grease. Literally ruins my vibe. Like when I tell you my under eyes crease, like it makes me want to jump off the Empire State Building. Do not jump off the Empire State Building. Basically, I put it like under my eye and then we just go like that as like a little snatching moment. Again, it's gonna give you that lifted. And it's basically like this, when I tell you like my makeup is very like, I look like a filter, bitch I look like a filter. And then I just go along my eye. So then it just like sharpens up the eyeshadow and I just blend it right here. And then whatever is left over, I'll bring it up underneath my eye. Do you see how like this one just looks like more like lifted and snatched versus this side? Y'all know that I'm a tried and true to my Laura Mercier. You guys know I'm a tried and true to my Anastasia Beverly Hills powder. But one size. Dropped a powder, pink, ultra pink. I did like a review video again, like on my TikTok and I've actually been vibing with it. I've actually been really liking it. Um, it just helps, I don't know how to explain it. It helps blend my blush better into my eye if that makes sense it's not like too pink where it's like overpowering you know so sometimes i will just go in with literally just straight the pink powder or sometimes i will mix it with the laura mercier one just to kind of like i don't know wait hold on i have to like blend out but i love this whole like just contraption like the way that this has like um a lid it's iconic it's not girl she is pink like it's pink and on my tiktok i tried it with just like the pink powder but I kind of like mixing it a little bit with the Laura Mercier. So now we have to powder the rest of the face. I actually literally went in with the pink powder, fully used the pink powder all over my face, but I'm just gonna use my Laura Mercier, but I gotta check for acne first. Wait, there, I have a pimple underneath. Yay! Got a little bit of Laura. Guys, I'm literally almost out of this powder. But I'm kind of excited because they actually came out with a new version of the powder and it's talc-free powder. Um, so I've been like dying to try that. I have it. I just have not opened it because obviously I'm not done with this one. So like, why am I just going to open two powders, you know? Intermission, girl. You guys know that this is my handy dandy little holy girl, Mario Vadescu aloe spray. Whenever I feel like my face is tweaking, today's my life. I have her in the mini size and I also have her in the big jumbo size. It brings like a tacky hydrationness back to the skin. I don't know how to explain it, but whenever I feel like my shit's looking a little too dry, when it's looking like flour flaking off of my skin, I always do this and like it hydrates the skin back and like, I don't know, brings like some moisture. I cannot do my makeup without this. Like I cannot do this. I always have to use this. Now let's go into powder bronzer, Charlotte Tilbury. I got the shade two medium. And I really like this when I'm tail and um, Tail. When I'm tail, yeah, I have tail. Before we put the contour, you know, just bronze up the skin a little bit because like I said, we're pale. We want to fake a tan. Well, at this point, I can't really like fake that I'm tan. Now we're gonna go with blush. I've been going with a new blush combo recently, you guys. So let's go into it. I'm going in with the combo of these two MAC blushes. Here's a fun fact about this one. This one right here is called Peaches. This was my first ever MAC blush in my entire life. I got it in the seventh grade. It is core memory for me. I got this with woodwinked eyeshadow and all that glitters eyeshadow and it is core memory in a black makeup bag. My grandma got it for me. Shout out to my girl. Well, I don't know. I had a lot of friends in high school. I, I'm like traumatized by girls. I don't, I don't know what it is, but I just, not even high school, in middle school and elementary school, I had a lot of girls. Every single time that like a girl would come over and sleep over, she would try and steal my makeup. She would try and steal my clothes. Like, so basically this blush went missing. Somebody took it. So I repurchased it because I really, really like it. And it's like summertime, it's like coral blush, you know? So this is Peaches by MAC. And then I've always wanted this blush. Always, 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 always. I used to always see the YouTubers use this blush. This is Blush Baby. This is just like my seventh grade dream. Like my 
yeah how old was i in the seventh grade like 13 i don't know so i mix these because like they're like just kind of like the prettiest little like combo mix i'm just kind of like them and put it on my cheeks okay now we're gonna go with highlighter so you guys know that i'm all about my highlighter i love the rare beauty highlighter but i was scared that it was gonna like i don't know shatter i've heard that like sometimes those shatter really easily so i was like girl she's not going on the plane because usually i pack my suitcase with me like on like my take on the plane bag like i stick it underneath the seat in front of me because i'm scared of my makeup like breaking but this time i had too much stuff in my bag so it didn't fit so but I'm obsessed with this one. This is the Kylie Stoss one, which they actually have this on their website. Like, people ask me still. Love highlighter. Okay, well now we're going to do some nose highlight. Down the nose. You guys know the drill. On the little tip. You know we cannot forget about the inner corner. Lip combo. We're going to go in with this Los Angeles lip liner. We're gonna go with Max Blankety, which is another thing that like I wanted so bad when I was like 13 years old. And I just like dab, like I like tap 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 tap. Yeah, I'm just gonna dab this a little bit. Now we gotta set this face because I'm gonna be wearing this makeup for a very very long time, especially if I like go out tonight. So I have this little travel size all nighter, Urban Decay. Okay, then the last step that I do is I've been really into this one size waterproof. Like, you know, it just like kind of like helps like take me swimming on the first date, bitch, and this shit is gonna stay. But you gotta like hold your breath because it gets in your nose and it burns. Just like. I love it. Okay, now we gotta do my hair. Okay, guys, we're gonna do my hair now. It's really crazy, but I want it to be straightened, I'm thinking. I don't know, I just sprayed this little Not Your Mother's. Hair protector. I didn't even know they made mini heat protectants and I'm like obsessed with it. I'm going to Vegas and Hawaii next month, so I need all like the minis that I can find. I've been like obsessed with minis. This is my favorite hairspray ever and it comes in mini version. I'm going to straighten my hair. I need to section it though. And I think we're going to do more. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to keep this little like half side part or go middle part. This actually smells so good. My hair like literally smells delicious. And okay, I think we're gonna stick with this part. I'm kind of digging it. It's not like middle, but it's not like fully side. It's just kind of like, okay. I do need to apply some hair oil. I've been using actually this one recently because I haven't been using my Olaplex one. This is the, I think it's called Gisu. I would pronounce it Gisu, but I think it's Gisu or something. I wish my nails were like white or something like this would look really good with like white nails i feel like but i have red ah. so do i just not take a picture in this right now and take a picture in a different day so the makeup and hair is done now i'm dressed now i gotta figure out where i want to go take a picture in this at um this girl she's giving like snatched like for real snatched i'm like girl looks like i went to the gym yesterday i haven't been to the gym in a long time okay <laughs> 